Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from October 27th through November 2nd, 2019. It's a general reading, it will not resonate with every Scorpio. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you for doing so to all of you who continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. So let's get into it Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio this week? Just this week. Seven of Pentacles, so someone's at a reflective state. Uh, there's, a, there's a temporary halt. You've done the work. You've planted the seeds. You're waiting for harvest here. Some of you are evaluating exactly where you are in a relationship, a marriage, business partnership, or business altogether. How you are coming off to other people is in a very contemplative state. You could even be contemplating pruning cutting back whether that's in finances or that's just you know getting ready to cut someone off let's see what else you could be dealing with who's that capricorn virgo taurus then there's you scorpio coming is your season happy birthday guys i'm so sorry um happy birthday to all who are just enjoying their season. I know you guys are having some really good parties. Y'all didn't invite me. Um, no, but um, happy birthday. All right. So, Scorpio is so, so deep, so reflective, so serious. So, <laughs> so this is where a lot of you are. Um, Seven of Pentacles, the death card, just being reflective. What do I need to cut out? What do I need to do? Who Who is getting the axe? something has been dying for um a lot for an extended amount of time is this the death of um am i going to recreate um renew rebirth myself in some fashion in some form um i'm here staying relevant um some of you are at a place especially here where you're feeling like you need to or there was a sense of losing something of value. You felt like you either did or there was one time where you, you valued that particular something, but it's lost. Or some of you are currently feeling like you're losing something of value. Loss of something of value here. Uh, but with every loss is a game. With every ending is a beginning. So let's see. Chariot, nice. Some really transformative energy. Some of you are really stepping into your own, stepping into clarity. Definitely in regards to we have another seven card in regards to relationships, um, marriages, contracts, business, how you are coming off to others. Just I'm putting myself first. I want to see progression in what I'm doing, how I'm doing it for myself. The chariot only carries one, so this is definitely about self, self promotion, propelling self forward, gaining control of the good and the bad, the the pros and the cons, the the likes and the dislikes um, of the of a situation. It says that a beneficial change back to the death card. Someone you feel like you need to reinvent, reinvent yourself. A beneficial change is here for you. You be you could be getting a lot of recognition, public recognition for some of you. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's see. What else are we talking about for the Scorpio in their season? Two cards came out. Seven of Cups, another seven, 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 seven. Divinity walking into your purpose. Um Feeling as if it is uh, you're strong, you're you're able, you're capable of maybe some type of self Im improvement, self employment, self uh, worth. Some of you are saying I'm ready for partnership. Some of you are having very successful self employment. Some of you, your money is just where you want it to be. It could be even better. But you're definitely not at a place of lack. Some of you are walking into your, your life's purpose. You're right where you are supposed to be. 
um, you're learned, you're well studied, some of you are, are contemplating going back to learn something more. This is more so like self taught, self, uh, yeah, self learning or online learning or something of that nature, or just trying to gain more information, knowledge of a particular subject, um, culture, being well traveled here. Then the star card comes out. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius directly. Or you're at a place of um, feeling like you can heal from maybe a disconnect. Maybe um, not seeing eye to eye. Some of you want to restore. Some of you may be separated from a particular person. And you're wanting to regain, restore, renew. Some of you have just really come into self-acceptance. Like nothing and no one can really shake you, rock you. Nothing can be said that will move you from the foundation that you have found in loving and completely accepting oneself with the star card. Like somebody can say, oh, you're ugly. You're like, mm, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, no. Temperance, nice. Finding balance. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or s separated from a union. Someone could be wanting to salvage, re reconnect. Star card and temperance. Wanting to salvage the relationship in some fashion. I don't think you're open to it, uh, Scorpio. Yeah, someone's giving you a message of, of good news, good tidings. This could be just coming for you in your career and finance sector or it could be coming from someone someone else keep in mind sometimes the um princess of wands or the uh, page of wands is a conditional message it's almost as if they aren't mature enough to give the, the selfless message of i'm here i love i'll do but more so well i'll do if you do i well, i want to know how you feel if you fit you know it's more of the if then and statements it's it's conditions um of movement someone does want to to move forward with you even if it's in regards to i'm hearing being friends someone can't stop thinking about you or vice versa you can't stop thinking about someone um let's see what the shells say here for you scorpio i'm hoping only good things looks like you're having a really good week really good birthday month all right friends nice friends and some of you could be hanging with friends because it is your birthday month home all right home could be significant uh hard something's hard to do maybe you can't see that but it says hard um maybe hard to let someone back in hard to salvage a relationship hard to move on hard to reestablish yourself or hard to start a business hate Ooh, hard hate somebody hates what's going on moving so you could be moving on someone hates it or someone hates you for that you're really relying on friends heavily right now in this in this sector in regards to walking into newness and cutting out what doesn't serve you and really being in your purpose um and someone hates it Someone hates that you have moved or you are moving on. Um, it might have been at one point hard for you to do. It's hard for them to accept also. There's someone wanting to rekindle, reestablish, rebuild. What's the advice here for Scorpio? Some of you are absolutely trying to move or something. It's up to you. It seems like the ball is in your court in regards to trying to reestablish, rekindle, re put yourself on that on that in that place. The ball is in your court. You can have it, you cannot have it, which is good, you know. Um peaceful resolution. Nice. Someone wants to rekindle, wants to um reestablish maybe within the next few weeks. But you're, it, it's up to you and do know that whatever you decide, it's going to be peaceful. Um, 
it might bring you a bit of anxiety because you know this person just doesn't let up all right so Scorpio, I hope that this reading resonated with you, for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of uh, the 72-hour energy reading, the two-question $15 tarot card reading via email, the 20-minute phone reading that is on sale. All links are below. If you can't find something, just send me an email and we'll work it out, all right? So Scorpio, have a really good week. Take care, guys. Bye.